I came back over. <laughs> Look at this! Hello. So it is two days later. So we got the storm on Thursday and yesterday was cold, but it was very clear. It was actually a beautiful day. And today we have got another weather warning. We've gotten so many weather warnings lately. You get a little like um, exclamation point on your phone and it's orange when it's like a weather statement and then it turns red when it becomes a warning. Um, but we have a weather warning for today. We are getting 25 to 45 millimeters of rain. I can already feel that it's damp and it is starting to rain. It actually feels really nice right now. Um, the temperature is obviously it's warm enough to rain and uh, it's just really nice. You can hear all the water and everything. But all of this snow that we got is going to be gone today. Today everything is going to melt and we're actually not staying here today. We're going into New Waterford. So it's the next day and we went into New Waterford last night. We didn't really see much of the rain because it started pretty late. But uh, when we arrived back, as you can see, got a little, little pile left and not a lot, not a lot left. So a lot like that, the snow is gone. Yeah. And Dominic- I can see all the mess in the yard again. <laughs> yeah, the mess is back. It's not as magical as it was yesterday. But uh, Dominic was in fiddling with the greenhouse. So let's go see what you look did. here. He put a vent in the door. Now these doors are extremely uh, drafty to begin with. Yep. So <laughs> is the vent really going to make that much of a difference? We don't know, no. but best practice, the vent is there. Um, I'll and put a vent on the other side too. Yeah. So we'll have we'll have two. Um, but yeah, Dominic was it's in. Just for the night time, so condensation can get out a little easier. And he was also in measuring uh, poles and wood for the uh, the beam that he's going to put up in here yep. to make sure that the greenhouse does not collapse. We tested one out, and it looks like it's going to fit really good. So yeah, I don't have enough time to do it today. I don't think with the daylight I have left. So mm -hmm. I think uh, tomorrow, if Jeannie's cooperative, <laughs> I'll come out and try to uh, try to get the ridge beam up. But yeah, he'll probably put that in tomorrow. And then... Yeah. We don't have snow in the nor near term for forecast anyway, so... We don't have snow in the nor near term for forecast anyway, so... It's not a mad rush, but it is something I just want to get that done and then it's out of my mind. Yeah, for sure. And you never know when a snowstorm is going to just pop up because it's going to be a lot of rain. Yeah. Thursday looks a bit messy, but who I'm knows? I'm definitely ready for this wet weather to stop because... We haven't had a chance to get this really dry in here because it's just been soaking wet ever since that big storm. Yeah. It's been raining almost every day or getting, you know, snow and, yeah. eight or 10 inches or 14 <laughs> or 16 inches of snow. Yeah, it's a lot. Or more and then melting. And uh, it's just that time of the year. It's not very nice. Yeah, for sure. But we got a few uh, I told you so's on the last video. And, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I like, guess. I told me so too. So <laughs> but Dominic okay. did say that he thought that was going to happen, but he wanted to see uh, how it would hold up. And yeah. it all turned out fine. So he is going to put the ridge pole in. Um, but we do know officially that the snow will cause the greenhouse to collapse. But also, it might pop back up on your own, on its own, if you're lucky. Yep. And the ridge beam, my, my plan is seems super simple, what I'm thinking of doing. So. Mm -hmm. If it works, it's something that anyone can do just as an add on. I'll take it down to spring so there's more room in here. Yeah. And uh, it'll be not a long job, an hour or two. Yeah. And just use scrap wood, and I'm going to use some poles that I cut. And uh, I think it'll work. It's actually been two days, and as you can see, it's uh, snowing again. Dominic had to go into work, so we didn't get a chance to put up the ridge pole like he had planned. Um, oh, we're getting kind of a lot of snow, actually. Um, so, this is uh, our solution at the moment. So last night, they kind of upped the forecast at the last minute and said it was going to be 40 centimeters here. So I just roughed in, in the dark last night in here. A pretty basic structure, but it's real solid. 
And it's probably going to be kind of looking like this, the final ridge pole that I do build. So I just cut some po some pole size uh, spruce. Or that's a fir tree, actually. And then I just use some old 2x6 and some old scrap wood to kind of like brace it up. And it is pretty solid. So it's been holding up really great, actually. But uh, this is how I remove snow off the greenhouse. Now. This part here is the weakest. This was this was the cattle panel that I damaged getting off the uh, getting off the trailer. So I think this was our big problem. Maybe it would have collapsed anyway, but I think this definitely is the weak spot now. Once I get this in for the winter, we're fine. In the summertime, wind is. I don't think the wind will ever knock it over. Uh, it's just the snow load that's the problem. So put up the ridge pole. I, I think I could probably just leave this here for the year. And that would do the trick, actually. I don't know if I'll have to change much about it. Looks better in the daylight than I thought. But uh, that's great. <clears throat> I'll probably elongate it anyway. But yeah, worked out okay. But uh, I'll finish it. Probably extend it out this week towards uh, towards the other side. Nice part about having the two doors is I had this one open earlier for air for the chickens, but snow is blowing in, so just go to the other side and open that door. Grand. So, I uh, cut four posts. Turns out I only needed three, I think. But uh, I've got the roof, I think, squared up, short up enough that uh, it should hold up the snow now. I hung off the 2x4 there earlier, and it holds me up. I was a little concerned about uh, the wind shifting the dome enough that they'll fall off that center wire, but it seems like. Uh, it seems pretty solid, but it's something I can check on continuously. When it snows, I'll still come out and sweep her off and stuff. Uh, so yeah. So I just used really old, that almost no good anymore, 2x6 to uh, just slice it up and braced around there. Attached the last upright up to the pallet, so that should keep it from blowing side to side, hopefully. So they're just resting there on the wire, and then the 2x4s are going across to... Uh, pretty much touch on the wire so if it does bend down you can see here if it does bend down it's gonna hold on to that wire or onto that 2x4 I'll do it here as well it'll, it'll push onto the 2x4 and I don't think it's possible to collapse it with a snow load if there's that much snow I think it'll start to to shake off the sides there uh, that chicken seems to be enjoying eating that sawdust it's probably not good for him but it can't be much worse than that so I had to move the barrels away from the corners because the chickens were eating at the at that foam and and the the uh, this part here is really sharp, so I got to be careful with that. So I'm gonna have to cut out sections of that and replace it, I guess. So just a warning for anyone else thinking to use the foam if they're gonna put chickens in there, you gotta cover that with something else. Uh, 
We're still only getting eggs in one box. I put an egg over there to try to uh, encourage them to lay. They get one egg laid on that barrel every day. They really love being up on the barrels. I don't know if it's because they kind of get warm during the day, but the surfaces are pretty poopy in here, which is kind of a bummer, but I put down a new bag of leaves a couple of times a week, and that seems to uh, soak up the smell pretty good. So if I notice I'm starting to smell anything, I'll throw down a new bag of leaves, which I did today. So they're really fighting over that sawdust. That's weird. They've been in here for a few days. They don't like the snow. Um, but I'm, I reckon maybe in an hour or two the snow is going to be melted enough that they'll head out. Uh, so I'd say so far the hens are happier than they would have been if they were in that other house like they were last year because they basically stayed inside of that for like three months almost because there was always enough snow on the ground that they didn't want to come out. So uh, not an architect by any means so but I think this is gonna work. I do have that fourth post I could fit in between. You can see the world's twistiest two by four here. And it was real hard to screw through as well, so uh, I don't know what was going on with that. But anyway, I think this is uh, going to be the solution to the problem. It took almost no time to build, and it cost nothing. And in the spring, I'll just haul it out to have more room to move around in here and plant stuff and all that. So that is it for 2021 for us. We're actually not gonna have a video for a couple of weeks because we're just gonna spend some time with family and concentrate on celebrating and uh, getting through the holidays. So we just wanna say thank you to everybody who has been watching and leaving comments. We love watching them. Um, yeah. yeah, no, that's yeah. great. Oh, yeah. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you in the new year. Yeah, we're super excited about the new year. We have lots of stuff planned, um, and we're really excited to share everything with you guys. So we really look forward to it, but we hope that everybody has Bye! <laughs> a happy holiday season, and yep. uh, we'll see you next year. Spend lots of time with your family. Yes, for sure. All right. Bye. Bye.